Former U.S. President Donald Trump says the 2020 election should be overturned and that he should be reinstalled as president. Trump has made similar statements before, but on Sunday, he went a step further, calling for parts of the Constitution to be thrown out if needed. Ida Jo Castro is joining me now from Washington, D.C. Why are Trump's references to the Constitution so significant, Heidi? Well, Rob, this is extraordinary that a former U.S. president would publicly state this, given that the oath of office he's taken is to protect the U.S. Constitution uh, and to so publicly post this on his so so uh, Truth Social platform. He is calling for the 2020 elections, which he lost, to be overturned, for him to be reinstalled. And he goes on to say that a massive fraud of this type and magnitude allows for the termination of all rules, regulations, and articles, even those found in the Constitution. So, of course, the world at this point is used to these bombastic statements coming from former President Trump. But this, perhaps, is considered to cross a new line, uh, given in, in such high esteem that the U.S. Constitution is held. But this is just the latest in a series of actions that Trump has taken of late since he announced that he wants to run a third time to be president, um, in which he's moved closer to extremism in meeting with anti-Semites uh, at Mar-a-Lago and in also stating that he would pardon uh, the rioters, his supporters, who stormed the U.S. Capitol on January 6th if he is elected back to the White House. The, the Republican leaders have, have been reacting uh, to Trump's move toward extremism with uh, concern, hoping that he would not take these measures, given that the party uh, performed in a way that was underwhelming in the last midterm elections. But Trump, as typical, has not taken that advice and seems rather to be doubling down on this rhetoric of claiming that the election was stolen and now calling for the termination of the U.S. Constitution. Yeah, and if the Republicans have been um, sort of having this reaction, as you say, to the way that he's been moving towards extremism, talk to, to us about the, the wider reaction there's been to this specific call to alter the Constitution, because it is, of course, the bedrock for, bedrock for so many people on either side of the divide politically in the U.S. Right. And the question always after we hear these extreme statements from Trump is how seriously to take it. And again, that's where we find ourselves. The White House, in, in, in a statement released by spokesman Andrew Bates, said this was an anathema to the soul of our nation and should be universally condemned. Uh, but Democratic leaders this morning uh, was, it appeared a little bit uncertain of how to take it, either with an eye roll or true concern. Uh, Hakeem Jeffries, the newly elected Democratic leader of the House, uh, he said that this was a uh, strange statement by the former president, but really it would be determined how Republicans react to it. We haven't heard them uh, re react specifically to these statements. And perhaps even more interestingly, Rob, will be to see how Trump supporters respond. Time after time covering Trump rallies, you hear the Constitution, you know, being upheld as the sacred document uh, that these conservative supporters hold in the highest esteem for Trump to now call for its possible termination? Is that a, a line too far even for his supporters to cross? Or will they follow him past this line and all of the implications that that would bring along? This is just new territory, and certainly everyone is interested in the answers. Heidi, thank you very much indeed. Heidi Joe Castro talking to us from Washington, D.C.